Hi everyone and welcome back. Where are we today? Today we're just off Regent Street and we've come to Little Portland Street. Now, the eagle eyes amongst you will actually say, well Gary, you've been here before. Now I did. I've done a comparison video with the Wellesley for breakfast against the Little Portland calf. Now I don't think I was particularly fair there, quite literally because I had a big breakfast at the Wellesley and then I came here and I was like, oh. So I only had a small one. However, I'm not gonna come here for breakfast. I'm not actually gonna have their steak, which is incredibly cheap as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for some of their specials. Because last time I was in here, I, was, I saw the specials there. I was like, oh, actually, they look really, really cheap. So again, you, you saw the display, well, I saw the displays last time I was here. And I was like, hmm, next time I come, I'll leave that a go. And that's what I'm gonna do. If you wanna see the other video, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Now, as always, Let's give it a go. Okay, so here we are at the Little Portman Cafe. We've actually sat outside. Thought it was gonna be a nice day today, but unfortunately it's raining. Uh, we sat outside because it is absolutely packed in there. Now the interesting thing is, I've got some chaps behind me here, they're from Manchester, uh, and they, they recognise this from the YouTube channel. So first of all, hi to Jimmy, he's actually left, and hello, guys. Hello, how are you? So, yeah, some, uh, some people recognise this, obviously from the last time we were here. Now, um, I've had a look at the menu inside there. Um, Today I'm going to do something a little bit different because they've got some specials there. So I'm going to go for some of their specials. They've got a salt, a salt beef with mashed potato. Uh, so I'm going to go for the salt beef and I think that comes with some gravy. And I'm going to go for their chili con carne as well. So I just want to get a nice balanced feel of exactly what's here. Because it's a bit wet and it's actually not that cold, but because it's a little bit wet, I'm going to get myself a nice cup of rosy lee as well, a cup of tea. Okay, so I also had a look at what else is available on the menu. Now quite a few might say, well, why don't you have the, the breakfast? Because I didn't have the full breakfast last time. I know how good the breakfasts are. They're excellent here. So if you're ever in the area, definitely go to the, go for a breakfast. The other thing's interesting, you can come in here and steak chips with an egg on top as well for £8.50. Actually, I should have really gone for that, shouldn't I? But that, that's so cheap, considering, as I said earlier on, Regent Street is literally just behind me. We're in one of the most expensive parts of London. Okay, so the eagle-eyed amongst you will realise we've actually um, changed tables and moved over to this one. There's a little bit more room, what have you. The boys have to go back to work. Um, just on the food here, I saw my tea's arrives as well, so I'm going to try my cup of rosy leek. Or mug of rosy leek. Now, I'm just having a look here. They have just got loads and loads of specials here. Um, they've got some pasta there, they've obviously got the chilli con carne, uh, salt beef, and they've got a chicken rostry as well, which um, that looks really, really tasty as well. And you've got to bear in mind, it's just a tiny little calf, and they've got so much home cooked food. I think that's really impressive. I'm really looking forward to this one. See you when the food arrives. Okay, so the food's arrived. First thing, steam coming off it. So it's nice and hot. It's got a, that you know, chili's got a real nice smell to it as well. Yeah, look at it. And what a portion. That is a proper portion. And then over here, again, we've got the salt beef, we've got the mash, we've got some peas, gravy. The interesting thing is with the salt beef, I actually watched um, the guy cut the salt beef off. And obviously I saw him serve up the chili con carne. That was quite the impressive, nice, nice slab of salt beef there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck into the chili and see what it tastes like. The other thing is, last time I came here, I had the, the breakfast and I ordered, obviously a small breakfast because I'd already eaten and I was full up. I guess the same thing's gonna happen this time. However, the cameraman's gonna help me out. Okay, let's tuck in. So let's start with the chili. 
the steam coming off that. That's an excellent chili. Nice little bit of heat coming in there. Not overpowering at all. The mint's perfectly done. You've got the kidney beans in there, the tomato. That's excellent. And the rice obviously underneath. And the rice is cooked perfectly. Look, take a look at that rice. Oh wow. It's a chili con carne. Not the it's not the hardest thing to cook. It sometimes is very difficult to get it right. And this is right. As I said earlier on, nice tingle on your tongue there. Not overpowering whatsoever. Mm. Again, you can see the tomatoes in there. It's got onions. All in all, very nice. Just take a look here. It's hard to sit outside because today was not going to be a wet day. Today was going to be a nice, uh, kind of a spring day here in London. Yeah, I suppose it is spring, isn't it? And it is, as usual, raining. And yeah, this is making me nice and warm. Mm. I would say, it's packed in there. Just people just continually in, out, in, out. Shows how popular this place is. Okay, so I've traded over the plates there. The chili's there. I'll come back to that in a second. Here, I have my salt beef peas, my mashed potato, and the gravy as well. Got some onions there as well. Look at them onions, nicely caramelized. Let's start off with the salt beef and see what that looks like and tastes like. Oh, look at that, just pull away. Oh, excellent. Let's, let's get a big piece there. Salt beef is really tender. It's perfectly cooked. It melts in your mouth. That is excellent salt beef. Nice little bit of um, saltiness. Really adds to the flavor. That's really good. Oh wow. In the previous video, I went to Mooring's Pie and Mash Shop and I had their salt beef there. That was top draw, but this is on a par. This is definitely, definitely on a par with it. See it there? Nice steam coming off. Mm, that's good. It's actually, a little bit of sweetness coming through there as well. Now let's try the mash. Oh wow, that mash is really nice. Very buttery. It does need a little bit of seasoning. Not over the top. Just need a little bit of seasoning. I do like my pepper on my uh, mashed potato. Let's try it with some gravy here. Gravy looks a little bit thin. Let's see what the flavor's like. It's nice gravy. However, if you take a close up here, you will see that it is actually a little bit on the thin side. Not huge amounts of flavor out of it. It's nice, but it's not. The best gravy I've ever had. Now, the most important bit of all, the peas. I am joking. You know what I'm going to say? Peas are peas. They're actually quite nice peas. Um, there's a nice little sweetness to them. But they are peas, aren't they? Mmm. Okay, one of the things I forgot there was the onions. So take a look, nicely camerized there. Let's try them. Excellent, excellent smell off them. I'm gonna try that with the salt beef again. The onions are excellent. I apologize about the noise in the background the guys are working away. Not a lot we can do about that. But the onions are really sweet. The sweetness there cuts into the saltiness of the of the um, salt beef there. Wow, that, as a combination, that's really good. I'm really impressed here. I am. As a plate of food, again, excellent. I actually don't know how much it is. Um, it's a bit of a schoolboy error there, but um, wow. 
saying that, if they turn around and say it's £20, I might turn, not turn around and say, well, but I know it's not. Um, just as a play at food, that is really, really impressive. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to sort of crack on. Uh, cameraman's going to definitely have to help me. That was excellent. This is very, very good. Only let down, I think, or I know, is the gravy. That's the only little bit of a letdown that's there. But the gravy's not unpleasant. It's just a little bit thin. It hasn't got sort of an in-depth flavour. Although saying that, if the gravy actually was quite heavy and, and in-depth, would it overpower the salt beef? It probably would, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Let me think about that one. Okay, see you guys shortly. The other thing I noticed here, there's more salt beef underneath the mash. So it's not a tiny portion. So not skimping there. And in typical London style, look at it now. Brilliant sunshine. Is it April? April showers? Not quite, is it? Okay, so I've got my chili con carne back here. I didn't leave very much of the uh, salt beef for the cameraman. What I'm gonna do is I'll finish that off and let him crack on with this. Now, what if you ask, Gary, when you go into these restaurants and cafes, why do you order two or three dishes? It, I do it purely, okay, so you can get a nice reflection of what is available. You know, if you just came in and just ordered the chili con carne, how would you know what else is actually really available? And again, I've been here and I've had the breakfast and I know the breakfast is very good. So I, I try and get a, a real balanced view for what was actually available in anywhere I go. And for here, obviously I've gone for the two specials and one thing about the specials, they're actually very special. So, um, so yeah, that's why I do it. And also, I actually don't think it's very fair just basing your opinion on one dish. Yeah. You've got to get a, a true reflection of what's there. So that's why I do it. And also the cameraman can help me out as well. Mm. Okay, well, I really enjoyed that chili con carne. No, I know uh, the cameraman's not happy because um, uh, I ate all of that and I, Unfortunately, you can only have a little bit of salt beef there. But don't worry, I'll get him a sandwich or something on the way home. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside, pay my bill, and, um, and then give my review afterwards. Now, the thing that's very interesting here is most places would sort of say, no, uh, there's your food, now pay the bill. When I was in Chinatown, uh, they didn't give me the food. They actually said, pay your bill before you even see the food and service charge on top as well, before I'd even been served. Here, nothing like that. Uh, again, just simple, brilliant touches. So, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go inside, pay my bill, and uh, I'll give my uh, thoughts afterwards. Now, while I'm doing that, what mark would you give it? We are in central London. Home cooked. See you shortly. Okay, so we come outside. Actually, we were already outside, weren't we? So, uh, I wanted to give up my table there because it is so busy. So it's only right to give up the table and it has stopped raining. So quite a few people will sit outside. I want to talk about the, the cafe itself. Really nicely presented. Brilliant layout, uh, packed in there. It is so, so busy. It's got people coming in and out all the time. And again, from all different walks of life. So you've got the worker lads in there. Um, and you've got businessmen as well just a real cross-section and that's obviously because of the location we're just off uh, Regent Street here um, so yeah what can I say service excellent really nice friendly people saying that they were first time so we'll be second time was it the best chili con carne I've ever had no but was it really good yeah it was excellent chili con carne salt beef was that the best salt beef I've ever had actually <laughs> It was right up there. Uh, that was on a par with Maureen's, there's, there's no doubts about that. I thought portion-wise, excellent portion there. Um, yeah, real good quality. I like the salt beef. The, 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 the salt beef was, had a saltiness, obviously, and then it had a real nice sweetness, and the, the onions complemented it perfectly. That, that worked all together. Port chili con carne, the portion, you saw the size of the portion, and again, nice little tingle coming off there. Well, you saw I enjoyed it. I ate it all, didn't I? So, 
apologies to the cameraman. Um, yeah, that was good. And a nice cup of tea. Now onto the price. Pretty simple. Salt beef, £8.50. The uh, chili con carne, £8.50. And my mug of tea, £1.50. So £18.50. And no service charge. <clears throat> now I know you're going to say it's a calf. We are in central London. So now I think this is one of the best calves I've been to anywhere. And in my book, definitely one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, in central London for that quality of food. If you've actually disagree and you say, no, I know somewhere better than that, cheaper, then you tell me. You put it in the comment section below. I'm going to say something. You're going to have to go some to actually beat this one. No doubts about it. Actually, before I come to the score, you've got to bear in mind, you can come in here for £8.50 and have a huge, great big breakfast. The last time I came in, I had the smaller one. For an extra pound, you get a huge one. And the other thing which I've mentioned before is, have it, come in and have a sirloin steak with egg and chips, £9.50. That's mad. That's totally mad. Now, Mark's, I'm going to give it eight and a half, nine. Eight and a half, nine. I'm going to give it nine. No, I'm going to give it nine. Um, one, portion size, value for money, excellent service. Yeah, I think nine. I think that's really, really fair. What mark did you give it? As always, if you can like and subscribe to the channel, you know I always appreciate that. And until next time, bye-bye.